Hey guys, good review Green Lantern issue 22. Um, I'm basically gonna talk about what happened in it. Then I'm gonna talk about what I like and I didn't like because I wrote some notes down again because I want to be extra prepared, like always. So basically, this issue uh, pretty much leaves off mission 21. It's basically like a fighting issue. They're still fighting Lar Freeze and his army. <laughs> uh, so yeah, some basically they fight Lar Freeze. They can't really beat him. So. Sam Walker comes out of nowhere! That's a coincidence, and he helps him out. And my face looks really shiny right now from the hotness, because it's pretty hot today in California. But yeah, it's basically a fine issue. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And throughout the issue, the recruits, constructs, get like better and better. And it's kind of adorable seeing how, like, first of all, their, con uh, their constructs weren't as good, but then, like, they're fucking, like, riding, like, a lizard construct, which is pretty cute, if you ask me. And basically. Throughout this issue, when St. Walker comes in to help, I don't know where a Star Sapphire is with them, and they don't really mention who the Star Sapphire is. And to me, she looks like a, a like an Earth Star Sapphire. I thought like she was human, but I guess like we don't know because they never even gave her a fucking name, which pissed me off. But basically, like, she dies in this issue, which pissed me off even more because like, come on, man, isn't it kind of sexist in the way that this girl dies without even getting a name or some glory? And basically, the ring searches for someone else, and it picks I for God's sake can't even say her name. Her name was like Nola. I wrote it down here. Was it Nola J or Nala J or whatever? Yeah, basically it goes to her and basically Koti, the other last thing they gave a name was pretty much gonna die in the end. They pretty much the ring part. Uh, the ring chooses her and basically he's like, "Let me out, Koti. We can be lovers again." And basically, who saw this coming? Koti lets her out and he stabs the shit out of Koti, which was kind of predictable to me, but I still enjoyed it. But the weird thing is, like, when Kote got stabbed, he was like, wait, I thought you loved me, but I guess, like, he doesn't love her. He loves, I mean, uh, Kote, I mean, uh, Nola J doesn't love Kote. She loves this group of people. He, she calls her clan, which, like, saved her and, like, pretty much made her a queen to them. Which I didn't know, I didn't understand that. I thought the Star Sapphire ring works if you love someone, not, like, if you love a group of people that helped you. So, yeah, that, I don't know if they retooled that or refixed it or anything, but, yeah. That was pretty cool, I guess. And I like how Salak was in this issue, too, fighting with everyone. That's cool to see Salak in the Green Lantern comic, because they're usually, like, in corpse, because, yeah, that's how Jeff Johns made his comic. But yeah, that's pretty much it, and they pretty much beat everyone, and, like, they celebrate, which kind of pissed me off how, like, they, they didn't celebrate the fact that uh, they didn't even give uh, no, J, I mean, uh, that Star Sapphire name, but they gave... Kote, the Green Lantern who died, and then okay, I'm starting to sound like a fag right now, but yeah, that's pretty much uh, what happened in this issue. Now I'm gonna talk about what I didn't like and I didn't, what I did like and I didn't like. Um, I didn't like how they made uh Saint Walker buff as fuck, which like it didn't make sense why Billy Tan is that his name who draws him. Like, look, he made him look red. You know what I was reading? Like, what the fuck? Why he looks so red? The one thing I liked about uh, Saint Walker is the fact that he was an above character. He was like really a skinny looking character, and like I like about that most of the like most superhero comics, every superhero like buffed out and like yeah I got guns. I'm Hulk Hogan, Hulk Mania, brother. But Saint Walker, he was a skinny dude. Which I liked about him, and I feel like they kind of took that away from him. And he, uh, doesn't really bother much people, it kind of bothered me, but yeah, that's pretty much my little gripe. And the other thing I didn't really like is, um, wait, I already, I already talked about that, how they killed the Star Sapphire. I'm starting to like the art, but like, I don't know, I'm still used to seeing Doug McKay's art and like, Ethan Van Saver, I can never pronounce his name, but like, it is still awkward we've seen someone else's art on the Green Lantern title. And yeah, um, it was kind of predictable with the whole stabbing thing with Nola J, but I still liked it, and, uh, yeah, one more thing I want to add for sure, it still feels like Green Lantern the anime series to me. Like I said this about my last review with Green Lantern issue twenty one that it started like it feels like the cartoon show and it still feels like a cartoon show here, so like it kinda of feels this way this uh the new writer kind of, it's definitely, a, okay, I'm trying to say, the new writer for his comic is starting to make it feel like the cartoon show to me. I don't know if anyone else is like, like, feeling the same feeling that I'm feeling, not the boner, and feeling like this show still feels like the anime series. Uh, I guess this is a new way, a new take on Green Lantern, I guess, but yeah. If you love the Green Lantern anime series, and you love Green Lantern, uh, if you love Green Lantern in general, you should read this comic for sure, but yeah. That's my review. I give it a million out of uh, I give it a million out of twenty nine. So yeah, thanks for watching and just like the video and Lar Freeze is awesome. Oh yeah, I was gonna review the Lar Freeze comic I got, but I didn't really know what to say about it. It was just so fucking good. It was basically like a good origin. It was a good funny origin story. I'll put it there. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah.
I got the oh, shut up. I got the opportunity to read Just League issue. I mean, Green Lantern issue 22, and it was pretty fun. I'm pretty good. Like, I do like my normal review. I talk about what happened in it, and I talk about what I didn't like, and I kind of like, and I didn't want to like. Um, basically, the story kind of like a fighting issue. There's still a uh, fighting Lara freezes like a construct or whatever. I, fuck, I forget what it's called. It's, fuck. Yeah, that thing. Um, fuck. I'm so like my brain just like empty right now. What Lara freeze calls these things. But yeah, basically, what?